let a b be natural numbers such that g c d of a of b is one. Okay. N is a natural number greater than one. And it's greater than one. Okay, so there exists a prime divisor of a to the n minus b to the n that does not divide a to the k minus b to the k for k less than n, okay? That's positive k less than n, yeah? Unless we're talking about, unless we're talking about 2 to the 6 minus 1 to the 6, or n equals 2, then a plus b is a power of 2. Okay, so the prime that exists, okay, is actually, there's a name for it. So if you have a sequence, um, there's an ex a primitive prime divisor of a sequence. So it's sort of primitive prime divisor of the sequence a n minus b n. Um, Yeah, I guess you can say the sequence has primitive prime divisor. Yeah, so you get to this point in the sequence, it has this prime divisor, but that prime doesn't come up in any earlier. So I guess you have a, a sequence of primes that divides the sequence that doesn't divide any of the earlier terms. Okay, so maybe we can check that <laughs> so, so the conclusion fails for this but apparently, okay, so if it's 2 to the 6 you know, 63 is divisible by 7, and 8 is divisible by 7. So 7 is not a primitive prime divisor of that. Um, 3 is divided into 4, right? So the 3 is not a prime primitive, so it has no other prime factors, so this doesn't work for that, yeah? Um, if n equals 2, So that's a very small case. A plus B is a power of 2. So what does that mean? So A plus 2. So you get A squared minus B squared is equal to A plus B times A minus B, right? So Um, uh, 
So can you see that any prime divisor of a minus b obviously already divides a minus b, so it can't be primitive, yeah? And so the only other prime divisors would be 2, okay? But 2 would already divide a minus b. Okay, because if a plus b is even, then a minus b should be even. Yeah? Because a plus b and a minus b are the same mod 2. Okay, so these are obviously exceptions once you've checked them. Uh, and the question is why this, this theorem holds, okay? And I mean, just the way it's been defined in this situation, can you see something that divides this and not divides this is very similar to the definition that we gave for cyclotomic polynomials, okay? So that's why we're going to start with cyclotomic polynomials. And then we're going to work our way to a proof of this theorem. Okay? So, this is not some theorem I just took out of nowhere, okay? This is a theorem that's um, it's specific to Matz Olympiad circles, okay? So, obviously, this theorem exists. It's not that well known, but like in the Matz Olympiad community, it is more well known, okay? Because it helps you sort of solve the kind of number theory problems that come up very often.